So my injury um, was a was a career-ending injury. My muscle came off my bone. I was in Glasgow running one of the Diamond League. My muscle froze and popped, come off the bone. I can feel the muscle hanging inside my muscle, if you understand what I mean. Hmm. And um, I went straight away to Germany to the doctor, and the doctor said, right away, surgery. Don't know if you're going to really come back from this one. You know, and um, it was really tough. To be honest, I cry every day, you knowing that it's my job and um, it's what I do. And um, did the surgery. Um, I was in Germany for a little while to recover. And then I come back to Jamaica. And um, the person, um, our coaches that was supposed to be there, I don't think um, they were there enough. I don't think once they ever come um, to my home. Your, co your coaches? Yeah, come to my home and and look for me and see how I'm doing. You probably call, but you know, visiting is different. You know, yeah. only person I think that was really there was uh, probably my manager, and Timothy, and um, and my therapist Sean Keckler at the time. You know, and, and it was tough um, because one of my friends heard that I was at training and there the coach said, "I don't think he's going to come back." You know, I just think that's for him. And I said, "Wow." I went, I, I, run, I run away for two weeks and going to the hills um, by myself and I, and I cried. I didn't know what going to be off me, you know, or come off me. And I talked to God there and I... What did you tell him? And I said, Father, if this is your will, it's your way. And, but I know that you didn't carry me this far to let me down or to leave me like this. And, you know, and still I have a lot left to do for my family. You know, because they were struggling the same way as, as um, in that sense. And I just couldn't give up. I was there for two weeks. I said, I can't give up. I have to find some way of coming back. And what did you learn about I always talk to that person where every day myself. You know, from human nature, Michael Jackson say, you should always talk with the person in the mirror. And, and that stayed with me throughout my, my, my life. And I always talk to that person and motivating myself because everybody say you and you need to see a psychologist because physically I'm okay which I was but mentally I wasn't and I wasn't every time I go out there to run when I reach at that point where I, where, I, where I pop my armstring I keep on slowing down a lot of pressure it was a lot of pressure because when you're saying retired and everybody was looking for me but they didn't know the extent of the injury you know and, and I, mentally it, it get to me yeah. I'm not going to lie it did, and um, I was much up. As I started to really stay in my home and just to myself. I must say, this was another soul-stirring, exciting interview from Simone Clark. I watched the first one that she did with Sharika Jackson, and I must say, I am sure this woman, I think, is a Christian. If she's not a Christian, she is a psychologist of some sort because how she get down to the soul of the individual it is quite fascinating i must say this is one of the best interview this is one of the best ladies where it comes to interview in the business simone clark you are doing a fantastic job i must say for you and blake he really spilled his guts. He really tell it like it is. You know, so at some point in time in this um, interview, a tear came to my eye when I listened to him and he spoke about his dad. He, he was running and I remember that race that he did. Um, it was a long time he, has, he hadn't done any good times. And that, that season, I think it's 2023, that man pulled something out of the top draw. And I must say, Johan, it's not finished until it's finished. You promised to do something great at 2024, and I am behind you. And he spoke about, you know, the persons who are weren't there for him. And I can tell him, my brother, that is life. Persons who you are looking for, forward to being with you in your darkest hour. They, they are not going to be there. They are not going to be there. But 
I'm glad that you found solace. I'm glad that you found strength in Jesus Christ. You say you went into the woods and you stayed there for two weeks and you prayed. What I'm going to beg of you, Johan, um, is to make Jesus Christ be seen more in your life. Sometimes I think one of the things that, that derailed you down the road, you know, I know you had made some comments about some of your friends and you came and you apologized. All right, and I see where I forgive you. Also, you know, you were mixing up the beast with Jesus and the two doesn't go together. And that's where you had lost some of your, your followers and your fans. But you, since um, you repented and you said blessings now, all right? And you are back on the track where God is concerned. And I want to tell them, my brother, I'm praying for you and I know that you are going to be successful and I'm glad that the persons you have, you have helped and you are helping. God will bless you. Alright? Peace out. And remember, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I must say a big up to the Sim Show. It's the best show in Jamaica right now. Pound for pound. The best. And Simon Clark, you are the best. I big you up.